morning boys and girls. Um, I don't know if you've seen me post, but at the minute we've got, um, got Corona. Corona for Christmas. Bit of a bummer, ruined everything, ruined everyone's plans. But uh, while I'm bored and laid up and can't do nothing, um, I'm going to start Fish Hunter's uh, rod. So um, also I'm trying out something new, like little Mike. My voice, my voice ain't all there at the minute, but this might help. Um, so yeah, I'm going to switch this back around and then show you the condition of his rods. Right, you've got Betsy Dawa. Now this is his, this is his Betsy Dawa that he's had for, for donkey's years. Um, I don't know what it is. There's nothing on it apart from Dawa blood basically. HS, HM, 58M, whatever that is. Someone might be able to tell us. Um, it's battered, proper battered. Real seat's broke. Um, there's his, there's obviously the eye. She's proper, proper battered. Now basically, he wants it. He wants it usable. He doesn't. It ain't worth going to send it to a rod built builder to have look held on with tape. It's not worth sending this rod to a rod builder because it's just outweigh the price. I mean, it's that that rod in that condition is worth nothing. Um, fully built, fully built by somebody else. It's probably only worth 150 quid. But it's going to cost you 150 quid to have it built. Um, just will buy another rod, basically. So what I'm doing is changing it. Um, just going to cut the eyes off and make it usable. Now, if you remember, he has got a black rock surf, which he snapped, which he snapped. There's a tip section. Proper snapped it. Um, now the eyes on this are, the eyes are brilliant. The minimas, I think, with gold in the inserts. So they're lovely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these off and then whip them on to the dial. Give the dial a good rub down. I don't know what I'm going to do with this paint yet. I really don't know what I'm going to do with this paint yet. Um, it is just looks like paint. So um, I'm not quite sure. So if anyone out there knows what to do, but I'm just going to wet and dry this right back. Take it right back, see what happens. Um, look at them eyes. They're lovely eyes. They cost you a small fortune to buy these in the tackle shop. Um, I don't know that tip eye is going to fit on there. So I might have to buy a new tip eye. But yeah, what, what we're going to do is make that usable for him. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that real seat's going to come off. I don't think that real seat's going to fit, so you might have to buy a new real seat. So we're looking to rebuild it basically for as little money as possible because it's like I said, it's not worth nothing. It's not worth doing. It's just got more sentimental value to him. He's had a lot of fish on there and he's had it for a long time. Just doesn't look after it. Typical him. As easy as that. Easy as that. Might give it back to him. No wonder there was so much tape on there. That literally was held on by by electrical tape. But I don't know where he's done. He must have found this off of another rod. Hang on. But literally, look at that. Look. How has he got away with that? Crazy boy. Crazy. Right, I've taken all the um, all the old eyes off of the black rock now. Um, that's dead and going to bin. A bit of a waste, really, because that whole butt, that whole butt section. There's nothing wrong with that butt section. That I'm going to try and get off um, the reducers in there. It's glued in. It does move, but um, I can't get it out. So a little bit of heat gun, and then that should come out of there. Right, <coughs> my voice is going. To be fair. <coughs> This rowing has really done me, really done me. Um, but yeah, no, they're all off now. Um, I'm going to keep these ones as well because these ain't too bad, really. I'll use them on something else. Um, obviously, that one's gone. But this tip eye fits spot on, absolutely spot on. That dial, I've just tried it, so he's a lucky boy. Yeah, bring you back when it's, uh, as he says, I'll bring you back when uh, when I'm gluing them on. Right, just um, bringing you back, like, excuse the um, kids' toys, because it's Boxing Day and we're playing Lego and whatever they are. Um, but 
I'm doing a bit of this, a bit of his rod. Um, I've taped the eyes on in position so I know where they are. Um, and then as I'm doing it, I'm taking the tape off and uh, just binding it on. But literally, right, I've got to say this, I am no rod builder. This ain't a professional job. Like I said, it is just simply so he can use it. I'm bored, I've got coronavirus, I'm not allowed out, I'm not allowed to do nothing. So while he's up the pub, <clears throat> drinking his Diet Coke, oh, I'm here trying to fix his rod for him. But yeah, it's all right. Um, there is a few gaps in there. Like I said, I'm just winding it on by hand, but um, once the high build, the two pack stuff, wherever it is, um, I'll show you all that, what I'm using. Um, what goes on there, it'll be all right. I need a little bit more rubbing down. Um, I quite like this, quite like this, this whatever it is, carbony look, carbony fiberglass, whatever it look. Um, but like there, I want a bit more rubbing down to do. And then, um, and then hopefully it'll be all right. So that's where I'm at at the minute. I don't know how well this film is going to come out, but it's been recorded by Jake at the minute, who uh, won't stop giggling and laughing. But you can see what I've got to do here. I'm trying to, trying to do it as neat as I can without any gaps. Jake, stop itching your face. Stop it now. Okay. I'm supposed to be my professional cameraman. My compadre. I and do not know what that is. My coronavirus buddy. We've all got coronavirus. Jake's got away with it quite luckily. Come on, Jake, film it up. Jake's got away with it quite luckily, really. Um, so I'm quite pleased of. He would never know. Um, yeah, that's what I've got to do. So I won't bore you with that anymore. Um, bring it back. Just quickly, um, that's butcher's tape. Now, it comes in a reel like that. Yeah, you, buy it on, you can buy it anywhere. It's what they basically do the packaging with at the, at the shops, if you know what I mean. Um, they call it butcher's tape. Now, um, you can actually tape your rod, tape your eyes on, your blanks, with butcher's tape. I've seen it done loads of times. A lot of the sport casters, they just tape their eyes on the blank and they change the position of where they are to suit what, what they're doing and what weight they're doing. Um, there's a funny story, actually, about uh, Andy Andy Upton come out of my boat with me on a competition. And on the way out, he pulls out a, a reel of that butcher's tape an old Ziplex tip section, a handful of eyes, and on the way out he makes himself a rod. And uh, I just couldn't believe it. I was travelling, literally travelling out there. I was prepped up all the day before and everything, and here we are on the way out. He's making, and he's, he's building his rod. That just shows what he's, uh, what he's like. And I think, he, uh, to be fair, I think he beat me as well with a taped up bloody old Ziplex tip section. Anyway. So, right. Jump forward a step. I, um, it's actually finished-ish. Um, I couldn't sleep last night so I did a bit so it has been whipped bonded and lacquered um, it's not the best mate it's not like I said it ain't really ain't the thing but look at the finish on that it's nice isn't it um, a couple of bits like there like you can see why I couldn't rub it down anymore um, but the, the, the thing went cloudy again I can't get the air bubbles out I don't know how that works whatever he's happy with it um, Got the tips, the tip, the tip on. Um, up here, up this end is much better than the bigger ends. But to be fair, they're they're, they're a lot easier to do. Um, like I said, it's a fishing rod. That's what he wants to use. I'll just show you what I've used to um, do the two pack on the whipping and the um, and the lacquer. Well, I used this as the two pack. It literally is two 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 types. This is where it is two pack. Um, and you mix the two equal quantities, mix it up together, and then put that on. And that's what I've used for the high build on the whipping. Um, it's supposed to dry clear, but I've struggled, I really have struggled with this. Um, I think if I do it again, I won't use this um, because of the bubbles and the, and the going, the cloudiness of it. I don't like the cloudiness of it. So, yeah, it does work. It is flexible. Um, it does work, but I'm not saying I don't like it. It's not done what I wanted it to do. I think there might be something better. I need to try something else. But and that's, I mean, I'm no rod builder. I'm never going to do it again. So I'm just doing them a favour, like I said. And this is what I used for the the lacquer, the gloss. You can't really see it in here, but it is shiny. Um, 
that is like that is a single pack stuff, but it goes off in five minutes. It's really good. It's really good. Um, look at the look at that. Can't really see, but yeah, that's what that's the two things that I've used. Um, I'm just waiting on some tip tape for the end of that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this video up because it's, it's, there's a, quite a few minutes, so I'm gonna put this up. Probably there'll probably be two sections to this: the tip section and then the butt section. So um, on a positive note, peoples. I am day six of my corona and um, I've done a negative test today so one more test tomorrow and I am free. So yeah, that's what I used. Here we go. Look out for the next one.